Hello friends, good morning. Today I am going to show how to install CK Editor plugin in Drupal 8. Right. Before explaining the process of implement plugin, I am going to show the demo how the plugin is work. Right. So I have uh, login in the Drupal site in uh, Drupal admin and I have clicked the contain uh, contain menu on main navigation bar. Then I have clicked the basic page. Right. Then I have clicked the basic page. Then I have add one div container. Right. Div container button in the CK editor with the help of CK editor plugin. Right. So I have opened the basic page. Right. And I am going to show how the button look like. Now I have opened the eight, eight basic page form and within uh, this form we have a two field. One is the title and second is the body field and within the body field we have an option the text formatter. So I have select the full HTML text formatter because I have eight this plugin in uh, full HTML text formatter. So I have select the full HTML text formatter. So now you can see one option, create div container, right? Create, create div container button, right? So, and just click on this button. So we have a more option. One option is called general and second option is called advanced option. In the advanced option, we can put the ID, language code, style, title, and language direction. So we have this option. So now I am explaining the process how we can implement this div container on your existing CK editor, right? So uh, now I have just open uh, open the server on uh, ddev start. I have ddev start and I have creating the one module for this. So before uh, before starting this module, we need one library which is the supporting library on the CK editor. So uh, I need to install this library. First of all, I need to download this library. So I am going to show the URL how you can download the library. So first of all, you have to confirm the CK editor version on your system on your Drupal. So you need to uh, go to the I have opened the folder. I have opened the folder and you need to open like uh, go to the core folder, core folder and assets folder. Within assets folder, we have a one vendor folder and vendor folder. We have a CK editor folder. Then we have opened the CK editor dot JS file. Then we have just uh, searched the string version right so we have find out the 4.18.0 it means the ck editor version is 4.18 in our system right so first of all we need to confirm the uh, version then we have to download the library supporting with the ck editor 4.18 version right so we have to then uh, we have to download the version right so i am sure i am open the url which url we need to uh, use for the downloading purpose uh, so this is the plugin ck editor plugin dev container manager right now you have to download this and we have a uh, mention like 4.19 4.18 so our CK editor is also matching the CK editor 4. So I have just download the latest one. I have clicking the download button and download the CK editor folder, right? Now after downloading, I, I need to create one folder, right? I am going to write, I have downloaded the uh, div 4.19.1. Then I have extract this folder, then go to the 4.19 folder, then copy the all the contain then i need to put up in my drupal site right so i have just go to the sites folder within sites folder go to the my core drupal setup then go to the web folder then i have to create one uh, 
folder which is called libraries and within the libraries i have put the div which is the library we are using for the seagate editor plugin right so i have download and copy this uh, in libraries folder in our drupal root folder right now the process will start we need to create the custom module for this so i have opened the custom module go to the web folder go to the web folder then go to the modules folder within module folder we have a custom folder so i have creating one folder which is called the ck editor div right first of all i have first of all i have creating the info file the info file i have mentioned the name of module type of module description package it. you can use the drupal console for the creating the module purpose so uh, this is the info file this is the info file on our module right this is the package and i have mentioned the drupal requirement core 8 or 9 whatever which version you are using drupal 8 or drupal 9 and we have a one dependency which is called the core module of ck editor so this is the info file then i have creating one module file only for uh, just practicing purpose we didn't uh, uh, do any changes in the in the module file that is the default generator file with the help of drupal console so i did not add any any function in this file right so i have creating the info file and module file now we have creating the ck editor plugin right so i have creating one folder which is called src within the src folder i have created uh, creating one folder the plugin then i have creating one more folder which is called ck editor plugin folder then we have creating one php file which is called div.php right so within the div.php file i have mentioned the name space of my custom module then we need to use a statement one for the ck editor plugin ways and second for editor so we have including this use statement then we have creating one class which is called the div class and extend this class with ck editor plugin base right so we have a one function which is called a gate button function this function using we have add with the help of this function we have add div container button on the ck editor right so this is the level create div container and we have mentioned the icon image icon image means this this one is image this image icon image div container so i have i have this is the level and this is the image i have creating one array and uh, i have written the array with the label and path of the images right so this is the gate button function then we have creating one more function uh, the function name is like is embedded function this is the compulsory function but i i i didn't change any function but only declare this function right then we have a one more uh, uh, we have one more function which is called the gate file function so in the gate file function we have mentioned the J, js file plugin js file and we have a one another function is internal false then get dependency we have written the array i did not any uh, changes in this function but this is the compulsory function that is why i have declared this function in this php file so after these changes after this uh, changes we have a like uh, we have uh, we need to config some text format we need to apply some configuration in the text format so our plugin will be created now we have enabled this module so i am going to the web folder modules folder i am just uh, showing the structure of this module we we'll go to the custom module then ck editor div right we have a two file one is module file we have a uh, info file and module file then within the src folder we have a plugin ck editor plugin and we have a one a file which is called the div.php file and within the js plugin div we have one javascript file
so this file uh, this file we have mentioned here right this file like go uh, editor dot ui button and we have uh, mentioned this uh, function on that file simple which is called uh, plugin dot js file right and we have download the libraries also then we have to enable this module i am go to uh, the uh, admin section go to the extend section and i have enable my ck editor module right so this one ck editor dev so i have just enable this module then i need to perform some configuration so i am go to the uh, configuration section within configuration section within configuration section i have just uh, open the configuration of full html text formatter so i have clicked the configuration section so now the configuration section we have a option for text formats and editor so we have just open the text formats and editor So now we have all the text editor option is available, right? So I am just open the full HTML configuration, full HTML configuration. I have clicked the full HTML configuration. We can add this button and also other editor like basic page, restriction HTML, plain text, but I am, I am just apply these changes on the full HTML text, right? So I have just opened the configuration of full HTML text. Then I am just uh, available buttons option. So available buttons option, we have a div container button. So I have just drag and drop and uh, set the button, add the button on the active toolbar option with the drag and drop option. So I have just added this button, then click on the save configuration button. Now we can go to the any content page and update the page and select the full html text formatter now we can see the div container option i have just clicked this option right now we have just put the id like test then click the ok option then go to the editor section now the div will be creating div id test and this this div is creating so this is the process how we can implement the ck editor plugin in the Drupal 8 or Drupal 9.